as far as the enrollments, I'm going to have uh, yeah, Pastor Freeborn as the headmaster talk to that because I'm not familiar with where we're at on that. The problem when you ask that question, Peter, is, is I have to ask how far back do you want to go? Right. Because because things are changing. You know, historically, <coughs> the school significantly contributed to uh, costs for the total organization. Now, it's one organization. That school's a division of the organization. But I think that the biggest amount of money historically owed to the school was money that was taken from reserves that the school had accrued and directed over to Sunrise House. We don't anticipate uh, that ever coming back. And that's hard for the school because the school, well, the school has done a phenomenal job. And, I, and I'm, I'll tell you, as a pastor, I'm very blessed to work with the school leadership. Um, they do a fabulous job. Now, the truth of the matter is that, that this year, within moments, we had to adjust our preliminary budget. We reduced it by about a quarter of a million dollars. That's a pretty significant hit. It is. Um, but because of our good leadership, it was done with, with minimal impact. I mean, minimal, I mean, you know, you, it sounds like the sky is falling. Because of the leadership, minimal impact. And we still were able to start at six three. Yeah. And, well, and, and let me tell you how we're going to do that. Early on, when I was looking at, at options, um, I realized that historically that had been thought of and discussed and hoped for throughout the years. Because we have a changing demographic in Hampton, in my opinion, uh, and, and dynamics with closing of the military bases and this and that, and we, we had to re retool how, how the enrollment is anticipated by grades. Mrs. Robinson, who was a, a phenomenal leader, um, we sat down and she developed a concept that, that, that together we can, we can afford to do a sixth grade because we have classroom space now to do a, a sixth grade. And frankly, that's where your market mm -hmm. appears to be. And by moving towards the sixth grade, seventh, hopefully seventh grade and eighth grade, that that will equalize your total enrollment issue, and your you know your your advanced grades have a little higher tuition than your early grades. So this school leadership with, with me has done a, a very wonderful job with the the information I've received. I don't know where we stand on preliminary enrollments overall. I, I need to have that meeting soon, but I do know that. In launching the sixth grade, we have, uh, you know, we wanted to go 25, and my understanding is we have 25. So I think this is a home run. And uh, I think the congregation is very affirming of it. To put it in business terms, this, this is our historic market. I mean, we've done very well here. And by making that slight adjustment, we're really congruent with what our historic mission has been. Now, I, I, want to, I want to sing the uh, leadership of the school's praises. And uh, it's been a privilege to be associate headmaster and now keep the seat warm headmaster. Uh, so I think that they're doing very well. They, we, we have a preliminary budget that has not been presented to the council because of the council's other activities that have kind of inundated. But it's a balanced budget that's anticipated based on projected enrollments and we project out our enrollments very reasonably. The, the leadership is very happy with the reasonable projections that they've, that they've adopted. So I believe we, God's will, when the creek doesn't rise, I think we close the black projected next year by about five grand. So. <laughs> but they've made adjustments. I mean, bottom line is, as with the church, the school has had to make significant adjustments too, 250 grand. And, uh, but, the leadership is fantastic and uh, working very well with Pastor Freeborn as headmaster, acting headmaster. And uh, uh, I don't anticipate any significant issues. And, and they're thinking strategically in terms of the, the middle school and keeping uh, options open for us. So, thank you. What else? Okay, I'm going to go to my list. Oh, Joe. Joe. Ah, okay. I just wanted to make a comment that I was very pleased to look see the uh, copy of a letter from uh, the bishop and the uh, newsletter. Um, I think it's very important to me. Certainly keep up our um, support. Right. Benevolence-wise, even at those times when it's uh, very difficult to do, the church at large is going to a tough time. 